There Hello. It goes. Welcome to a foodish review. Product, a drink a, review. A drink review. Surge. Currently available in? Currently available in much of the United States. Uh, if you're from Chicagoland area like us, you will not find it. But thankfully last weekend, I took a trip down to St. Louis. Managed to find five of these in a shell station. And you better believe I got all five of them. And they saved one for me. You saved one for the review, yes. Um, so, let's go ahead and crack these open. It's pretty cold in my car right now. It's yes. not running. And uh, these are very cold and my <laughs> hand is hurting. Let's go. All right. Cheers. Mm. Tastes pretty green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tastes like what you'd expect a green drink to taste like. But not like not like uh, exactly like Mountain Dew, but similar. It tastes like what you'd expect a darker green soda to taste like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of. This is like Coca Cola's version of Mountain Dew. No, because they have Mellow Yellow. Okay. <laughs> Mellow Yellow is almost even harder to find than Surge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's a. Uh... It contains less than 1% juice. What kind of juice would you think is in here? Maybe some lemon? Orange juice. Oh, is that what it is? Mm hmm. Water, high fructose corn syrup, malodextrin, citric acid, natural flavors, orange juice. It's also caffeine. I mean, it's sort of got like that. like vaulty kind yeah. of taste. Vault was also. Coca Cola, right? Yes, it was. So they have like three very similar colas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's interesting. And then um, I don't quite remember, but what did uh, what did DNL taste like? Kind of similar. Uh, DNL was more like a Green River. It was more of like a Green River. DNL, if you don't know, is the upside down Seven Up that they had for. It was around for what about a year or two. Yeah, something like that. It was all right, but I think that was more like Green River. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was more like a neon dark green. And then I remember Pepsi released for a very limited time a drink called Mountain Dew MDX, which I know was like a darker green Mountain Dew. Yeah. I think it was supposed to kind of be their answer to Vault. Yeah. But I don't quite remember. There's been so many versions of Mountain Dew. With hard yeah, to hard to remember. Did you see Um, they did a, a sweepstakes for Mountain Dew Pitch Black? I heard something about it coming back, but... Yeah, I saw something about it coming back, and then I later found out that it was a sweepstakes. Oh, so look at PepsiCo with their sweepstakes. Only if you won the sweepstakes can you get the pitch black. Just like with the sweet Crystal Pepsi. Yes. We are currently uh, both awaiting the results of the Crystal Pepsi sweepstakes, sweepstakes in yes. hopes that one of us won some Crystal Pepsi. If we do win, we will definitely review a Crystal Pepsi. Definitely. And we might actually uh, if we win, send one out to one of my might, uh, subscribers. Might might do a giveaway of one delicious bottle of Crystal Pepsi. But only if we win. Speaking of which, I just got my first video of over 1,000 views. All right. Celebration. Right. All right. Which video was it? It was the KFC versus Church's Chicken versus... Popeye's chicken. Oh, I'm not in that one, but I do remember <laughs> seeing it. It's a very good video. Unfortunately, there's not really one with both of us that are <laughs> doing very great. This is the one. This Tell your be. friends. Surge. Now, the Surge supposed to have a lot of caffeine in it, or is it just normal Pepsi product kind of caffeine? With the name like Surge, you'd expect it. Here, caffeine content 69 milligrams per 16 fluid ounces, which is the can. So 69 milligrams of caffeine in this can. Which is I assume is, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I, I think it is, because I, I want to say a cup of coffee is like 45. Okay. I don't know that for sure, but I remember vaguely seeing like some chart of caffeine levels and things. This is really good. It is. It's very good. Have you had the Burger King Frozen Surge? I did. Tastes, tastes very similar. Very similar. I would say that it's a little bit sweeter. 
Mm-hmm. I, um, like, you know, it's made of more of a concentrated syrup, usually. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, right. Very similar, though. The Surge Icy, if you let it melt to room temperature, you'd pretty much have Surge. It'd probably be flat, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Surge. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely an 8.5 out of 10. Solid 8.5 out of 10. Like, if if they started putting Surge out um, for, like, a, a fountain drink at different places that serve Coke, I would get it a lot more. I think so, too. I very much miss Vault, because I always used to get Vault. Me, too. I remember Vault very well. I didn't I really care it. for Vault Red. That one I don't remember as much, because I think it had an even more limited run than Vault. Yeah. But uh, I remember White Castle always had Vault, so I always get Vault when I got White Castle. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, if you're from Chicago, demand it. From what I know, there are two places around Chicago where you can get Surge, and don't trust that Surge locator. There's a Surge locator on their website. I went to five gas stations <laughs> that supposedly had Surge before I found this. Um, so there are two locations <laughs> in Chicagoland. One's at a family dollar. The other one's down near Pontiac, which is south of the city, a good hour and a half. You went there? No, I didn't go okay. there. <laughs> I was like, why would you go there? But according to according to the Surge locator, that's where the two Chicago-ish land locations did are that use, sell Surge. Did you use a locator when you were in St. Louis? Yes, I used the locator to you find know, this. To be honest, if someone came in after you, they might also be cursing the locators. <laughs> <laughs> Since you bought them out. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what a lot of people did. Is they bought out the Surge. They had five Surges left, and they were 99 cents a can. So did you ask them if they had any more in the back? No, I just told them, I was, like, when I came in, it was a very small gas station, I opened the door, I looked in the cooler, and I said, oh, yes, you have it, and he immediately knew what I was talking about, he said, oh, Surge, <laughs> so I said, yeah, I'm gonna clean you out, buddy, and I took all five of them, and I went to the checkout, and I was very happy. Yeah, when I found the, uh, the Mountain Dew, uh, one we did a couple weeks ago, like a month or two ago. Yeah, that purple -y yeah one, they had... I was like, if I find it, I'm going to buy all of them. But I had, like, a lot of them there. So I'm like, <laughs> I'll get four. Yep. Good thing, because they weren't good. <laughs> <laughs> Surge, however. Yeah, if you find very it, good. get it. If you've never had it, try it. Mm -hmm. If you miss it, get it. Now, you probably remember better than I do, not to extend this video longer than it has to go. <laughs> Is this uh, similar to the 2003 discontinued Surge? Is it about the same? Taste-wise? Yeah. Yeah, as far as I remember... Uh, the can looks very similar. Probably a little bit. It's updated, a little updated, yeah. But uh, it's distinctly looking like uh, it used to. Yeah, right. Do you know if there was ever a diet surge? I sure hope not. I've never seen one. No. <laughs> well, not every cola needs a diet cola equivalent. Yeah. So, especially since it's like a limited return thing, I don't think they'll ever do it. Yeah. Who knows how long these will be out? So get them while you have a chance. Yeah. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. Mm -hmm. It's been a little bit long already. Until next time, see ya. See you around. Bye.